What's different from last season to this season? Well, I, I would think that uh, first of all, being uh, so successful the last two seasons, every team is now definitely geared up to be the winner of this, if we can. And from what we've seen so far against the teams we've played, they are definitely prepared and they are more than willing to go the extra mile to try and beat us. So uh, I don't think anything's really changed that much in regards to our team. The others have probably stepped up, up a little bit. I think last year we had uh, a real fortunate year in going uh, with one loss all the regular season. A lot of luck played into that. And every night we're going out against teams that are uh, getting up and playing against us real well this year. So I don't think it's so much as uh, the other the other teams in the league are coming up and meeting uh, what we're bringing to the tables. Um, obviously, we got a big target on our back, being the champions. Uh, going to be a, I think everybody's just coming in and really playing. It's really tough right now, and uh, we're still kind of having the, the hangover from last year. So hopefully, we can start putting some wins together. Uh, talked to a few of the guys that played last year, and it's, a lot of guys missed. It. Work uh, just because of work related uh, issues. We've been playing a lot of games on the road. And, uh, it'd be nice to play a few more at home, and I think that's what we're heading into in December. So it's just uh, a little bit of a hangover from last year, I think. But uh, we'll get we'll get things to Next Friday, you'll be going up against the Shelburne Muskies at uh, home here. Um, they're the only team that beat the Winter Hawks last year. That was the one loss. So how are you guys preparing differently to play them? Well, we're on the ice uh, in a few minutes, and uh, as of right now, we are definitely geared up to uh, take on Shelburne. We played an excellent game in Shelburne, which we did end up winning, rightfully so. Uh, the guys played a lot of tenacious hockey and everything from the heart. So we can uh, pick up where we left off in Shelburne, and we know that this weekend is critical for us. We are going out to get two wins and nothing else. Well, we've already played them once this year, and uh, we've got a win out of their barn, so I'm sure they'll be uh, coming for us and ours. So uh, hopefully just prepare to get any other game have a, and have some success against them. Uh, Shaman's a really tough team to play against. They're always uh, very physical, so uh, just get ready for a really hard-working game. Hopefully. Uh, Shelburne's a tough-hitting team. Uh, they play a grinding type of ball. Which we can play too, and uh, we proved that going to Shelburne and uh, beating them in their own barn. So I think we're just going to do the same thing we did last game and uh, play them hard and see how that goes. Do you feel extra pressure um, coming in to coach the back back champions after this these last two stellar seasons? Oh, definitely, it's uh, it's not an easy position to take on, and uh, but the great thing is uh, the team themselves, uh, the way they prepare for the practices, the way they're motivated for the game, uh, that is very inspiring for myself. And uh, if we keep doing those little things that we have been doing and maybe step it up a little bit in the goal scoring department, I think we're just going to be fine. Okay. So the Hawks have a new coach this year, Peter Regner. How is his coaching style different from last year's coach, Jim Green? Um, they're actually quite similar, I think. They're both pretty laid back guys. They both uh, bring a lot of uh, experience and uh, a lot of technical uh, experience in the game. I think it's been a smooth transition. Joe's afterwards for, uh, I don't know if there's going to be a shave off or what, but uh, a little bit of fun with it, so. And do you think guys think you're going to win? <laughs> a lot of lumberjacks and uh, all sorts of other things up there. <laughs> We're in tough. Um, yeah. Do you want to add anything to uh, Andrew's answer about the girl mustache women competition against? Uh, like, some guys are doing better than others, so. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know. I, I don't feel super comfortable with the girl mustache. <laughs> much about it. I'm just going on to, you know, to fit in. So. The coach, uh, how does that make things different playing for a team now that your dad coaches? Um, not much at all. Uh, I don't really 
talk to my dad too much at practice. Uh, just try to talk to the guys.